Nobody got time for that. The young white boy coming with the violent racks. And now I got him wide out like a sound of gas. And when the bass drops, I'm not like a bottle of racks. So watch your back. Put the kids being next. All up in the game, get a disinfect. Whack motherfuckers showing disrespect. To the OG's bitches, I'ma twist your neck. Might lift my shit while I flip this track. And to the wide, be the shits I rap. I'll be at bad with the hits on deck. Gonna roll to the top, don't miss no steps. Been about the billies, yo, and never get to make another mark. And I'ma hit it better. Tell them I'm the illest. Let me get a beat. I'm better about to get it. Introduce 
the blue corner first. Fighting out of Russia, weighing in at 61 kilograms. Sahir Ken Jumahav, the pitbull. And his opponent tonight, fighting out of the red corner. From France, weighing in at 61 kilograms, with a record of seven wins and two losses, Alphan Rochelab. So here we go, main event of the evening. It's been a fantastic card. And now we're on to the main event, Russia versus France. Looks to be a great match, Dean. Yeah, Sharabek's great wrestling, 67% submission win rate. But this is uh, one of the ones on the card that I saw that would be explosive, both highly talented and highly touted. But it's what's worth noting that Sharabek is only 21 years old, whereas the fan's 24 years old. Lightning left hook that missed. Thrown by Sharabek. And again, that left hook very quick. Alphonse is going to have to keep an eye on that. Alphonse on a two-fight win streak as well as great footwork as we've seen here. That was a nice left hook, but it caught the chest. Wasn't clean on the chin. Sherebek's going to have to try and target that chin or potentially the temple a little bit better. Alphonse showing the uppercut there to try and deter the level change turning back kick from Sherebek. And he's got an aggressive and a pressing style, even when he's under fire to Sharabek. Some good head movement on the back end of his shots. Moves well. Make it a little bit more difficult to counter. Elfan ranks sixth of all the bantamweights in France. And known to use the anaconda choke and a very savage armbar if he gets this fight to the ground as he eats the shots here, Rob. Yeah, Serbeck definitely winning the stand-up. Striking beautifully and goes in for the guillotine. It looks to be deep, although there's an arm in. Let's it go. Starts to work on the hands for that single. Alphon trying to drive into that single leg takedown, eat some elbows. Sherebrek staying nice and heavy as well, looking for the unhooks. He's pulling the head up as well. Could work the power guillotine. Beautiful. This is a fan favorite in Russia, the power guillotine. Oh, great work by Alphan, using the takedown to get the head out of that position. Smart work, good work. Alphon now. Trying to push his man against the cage. Serbeck comes out firing. Deep, beautiful work. Not often you see that. They mix martial arts with the left hook. And they went to the chest previously. Now he's better targeting the chin, the Serbeck. Very patient as well. I like yeah. the way he rolls off that right hand as well, Rob. Very nice head movement. Oh, gets clipped there with a little, little left hand. Again, looking to go up and down, changing levels. So Herbeck. Alphan, known for his ability to be resilient in the submission game, even when he's the one on the receiving end. So that's potentially why we're seeing Sherebek look for the knockout. He's not, he's not forcing it. He's waiting for it to present itself. He's set it up with that jab and that left hook. He's using fakes and feints and even kicks as well. Again, just changing that level, giving Alphon lots to think about. Oh, barrage of punches from Sharabek as he presses forward. Looking for the teep again. Alphon again looking for that uppercut. Alphon's hands are a little bit low for my liking here. Particularly when he exits, he drops that right hand. Yeah, even when he just skips forward there, you can see the hands drop slightly. And Serbeck very quick with that left hook. 
Alfon's going to have to be very careful. But then he hasn't amassed his seven victories through not being through not keeping busy. It's worth noting as well that Sharabek 3-0 and, and Alfan 7-2-0. and So Alfan, the much more experienced fighter in the cage tonight. Works well with them feints, Alfon, but you'd like to see him just put something behind them. He's had a little bit of trouble putting these combinations together, largely because Sharabek was, was stifled that with a jab, a jab to the body, a kick or a teep. He's not allowed to see there. He throws the kick out, nearly gets caught, but he's not allowing our fan to really pull the trigger and, and cement and finish the combinations that he's looking for. Great first round. Very much like a feeling out process, I feel. Both fighters not really committing to anything too much. Both fighting relatively safe, would you say, Dean? Yeah, I mean, Sharabek definitely would steal that round, I would have thought. He had the more decisive punches, but like you say, the feeling out process. They've tried and tested now. They're looking for the chinks in the armor. Now we're going to see what ammo they're going to use. Well, Alfan looked to take this one to the ground. As we look at the replay here, look at the, the striking of Sharabek. Pinpoint accuracy, uses the left hand to set everything up. See that? You see the jab or the left hook, and it's largely due to the hand, the right hand coming down of Alfan. As he exits and as he, as he moves from side to side, he drops that right hand. And this was a very close, very close to submission. He was able to get the head, but great work by Alfon to put him to the canvas and break that lock. Yeah, Alfan notoriously hard to submit. Did a good job of using the takedown to get away from that power guillotine. I'm excited to see what the second round has. Again, both just happy to stand and trade. Yeah, this is a kinetic game of chess here on both parts. They're both looking to move that piece. Oh, and there it is. The right hand straight down the pipe from Sharabek. Two very experienced and professional fighters. Great skill level as well. Again, changing levels. Body shot, throws out the kick. Alfan, I like the way he faked that leg, but he's got to sell the fakes a little bit more to disguise his combination. Sharabek looking for the body kick. Sharabek as well, he'll parry the, the jab of his opponent with his right hand as well. For me, Sharabek with the more cleaner boxer. Look at that, straight to the body. He could tie that with the overhand right as well when the hands drop. Slips that jab beautifully. If Alfan can try and use the jab as a fake and then come around with the left hook, because we've seen Sharabek parry it very consistently, so he's expecting that. Sharabek did a great job, sorry, Rob, with the distance as well, being the longer fighter. Yeah, stifling that, that assault from uh, Alfon again. Beautiful work, just puts that leg out, like you said earlier. Just puts that one shot in and stops it, almost on an instant. See, time and time again, it always gets parried. If you fake the jab, then come around the side. If, when he's parrying, his hand leaves the side of his head, the right arm of Sharabek. So Falfan can fake the jab and come with the left hook and then follow with the right hand. He's going to have some success there. Oh! And he went to the body in that instance to disguise the right hand, the overhand right. There's the double leg, single leg attempt here. Looking for that single. Alfon doing a good job keeping his man upright. So Herbeck still driving for this. And now his neck gets caught. He's chased the guillotine. He's given up the bottom position, which suggests that it's an immensely tight. He switched the grip as well. Beautiful. Oh, oh and he's out. Beautiful work. 
Sahabek choked unconscious by that man there, Alfon Russia Labs. Wow, Dean, that was unexpected. Totally unexpected. I and mean, we, we spoke about his ability to grapple, you know, the fact that he's uh, an experienced bantamweight ranked six in France, but what a way to take out a very dangerous and game opponent who you could argue was winning the fight by guillotine. Beautiful work, and he switched to the different grip. We'll see it on the replay, not traditional where you grab your own wrist, you push your fist into your opponent's neck, not much like we saw Leota Machida and John Jones when John Jones uh, choked Leota Machida out up against the cage. Beautiful work. Great submission. And what a way to end the evening here at Cage Glory Championships. I hope the viewers at home have enjoyed the action tonight. Historic event indeed, the first pro event here in Cyprus. And during the COVID as well, pulling out all the stops so the athletes can get here, all the staff can get here, all the testing. And they still made it happen and it was a great show. Very exciting fights as well, the crowd were on their feet. And here's the replay here, you see Alfan having a little bit of trouble in the striking game. He fired those punches, but what he looked to do is cha change the distance, punched his way in and eventually secured the guillotine. We have a winner by way of submission after 2 minutes and 40 seconds of round 2. Alpha Rocha Lab! Mounte! And what an historic 